I usually um, refuse to uh, go publicly and sing and and this time I was like okay I think I'm gonna do it and uh, I started recording. My name is Dana and I'm an artist. I do film directing, I do music creating, directing music and I teach music, singing. <laughs> I spoke at a, at a very young age, when I was a year and a half. And my dad used to um, like help me read all the short surahs from Quran. And they saw that I was really perfect in pronouncing the words, which is a bit hard for a one-year-old. And then by the age of two, they realized that I've been singing songs that I hear, and they figure out that I can sing. And actually I take it from my dad, because my dad has a beautiful voice too. Two months from the opening, I found out that I'm going to be actually standing there. Usually I create things and allow people to take credits for it, but this time I felt like it's my time to, to stand there and do it myself. While I was rehearsing for the World Cup opening with everybody else, I remembered that in, in 19... 98, I was watching the World Cup with my cousin in Abu Dhabi. We were watching Ricky Martin perform, and I was like telling her, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be there one day, and you'll see. And I completely forgot about it, and then suddenly, I was standing with Ahmed at the, uh, the office and saying, well, I'll do it. And then I was like, this is the World Cup. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> It made um, a 12-year-old <laughs> girl's dream come true. The calling had the story, the backstory about the, um, the Gulf long time ago in, in Doha, people going diving, and all the men, fathers, uncles um, aren't in uh, around their, uh, their loved ones, like their wives, sisters, mother, um, and they keep calling for them when they go uh, pearl diving. And how frustrating is this? Because sometimes they might come back and they might, uh, they might not. So the calling is actually calling these people. And we created the story that we are calling the world to us. Everywhere there are scenes for musicians and artists and I think it's very important for families even to support that because um, art creates culture and culture creates even art so it's something that like com it's a combination between two. It's all on you. You need to support, you need to not be scared of her making mistakes or even a boy making mistakes. Just be behind them, support them as much as possible because with that support it will help that child and that dreamer becomes really good at what they do and to prevent any mistakes that could happen through the way. Leaders are pushing us to show who we are really well and they were so proud to say that this is what we have look at what we have we have great artists we have great thinkers we have great creators we have great directors and singers and that was simply heartwarming to me nowadays the arab world is getting a lot of great opportunities to show who they are and i've had so much comments from everywhere around the world since i since we did the the opening and they've been telling me that you changed the stereotype about uh, a Qatari Muslim woman in this region and that made me really happy and proud. When I decided to do the World Cup I didn't think of what's next. I just dream and then see how my dream becomes true by working hard. 
Um, I don't think of what am I going to do next in sense of, yeah, I want to create something bigger than that. I just want to enjoy and have fun. I'm just doing something that I'm really passionate about. I'm not looking for fame or being better than anyone or do things better than anyone. I just want to sing and have fun and enjoy it because I love it. I've been approached by a lot, actually, yes. And there are some th things going on at the moment and I'll keep that a secret. Doha is beautiful and we're all dreamers and we can just dream big and make our dreams come true.